y'all it's your girl Michi G and I'm back with the video so first off I got my tea I am drinking chamomile tea cuz I just got off work hubby's doing dinner um, and I'm just gonna it takes me forever in a day to fall asleep so I figured um, I'll go ahead and drink some chamomile but anyway welcome back to this week's episode as you can see by the title, I got a story time for you. That's why I got the tea, okay? But before we get into this week's story time, make sure you hit that red subscribe button below. Also, go ahead and click that notification bell next to it just so you're notified when my videos are uploaded and available to watch. Officially join the family, basically short and sweet. For today's video, I'm gonna make as short as possible. It's Friday. I know y'all got stuff to do, as do I. Uh, I think we're gonna have a little date night tonight by the time you're watching this. So let's go ahead and get into the story time. So I just wanna say that for this story time, I can laugh at it now, <laughs> but when it was happening, I was taking it very serious. I was very much distraught. I just wanna start this story time off by saying, one, I always thought that my brain was too strong to get like high. And not that I've ever been a smoker. Tried it once or twice, like when I was in college. Never in my life got high until <laughs> maybe a year or so ago from CBD gummies, Delta 8, like that you can buy at the store. A while ago, me and hubby got some CBD gummies. I, I forget the milligrams, but we had those gummies. I had a CBD sucker, and then I think at the time I drank, it was a late night. I, I think I was drinking like some bourbon or some whiskey or something that my husband had. And that time, <laughs> I had all of that. And for the first time in my life, I was like, I feel like this is what it feels to be high. Like, I was just laughing. I couldn't stop like smiling and cheesing and giggling at everything. If you need to know where some water, you catch a baboon, a baboon. And then you get a baboon on salt. So the baboon gonna eat this salt. So what does the salt do? Makes you thirsty. A baboon ain't gonna be able to resist the salt. Baboons like salt. They just gonna eat the salt, eat the salt, eat it all up. You're real thirsty. So then you release the trap and you let the baboon go. <laughs> You let the baboon go. <laughs> the baboon go run. Right. <laughs> okay, so what the baboon do? Go run. The baboon is thirsty. Can you know what the baboon go run? Right? He <laughs> <laughs> just got to eat a shit ton of soap. You don't know where this nigga finna run? The hospital. <laughs> <laughs> the water hole. The baboon is gonna find where the water is at because the baboon has to drink or else he dies. They got dark super fast. <laughs> we not doing this no more. And so that time was like, okay, this is what it's like to be, you know, potentially high or whatever. Now this second time, however, <laughs> we went to a different store. I mean, we always try Delta 8. Glasses fall, but... But anyway, I'm gonna put this down and let it cool. So I found some, they were like watermelon gummies. Uh, in the Delta 8 brand, and I was like, sure, I'll try them, and that's all I had. I think hubby made about some gummies and some other stuff, but, um, yeah, I'm a gummy girl. If you know me, you know I'm a sweets girl, so I was like, yeah, let's do the gummies. Gummies got me right last time. They made me relax, they made me calm, they made me laugh, so, gummies. We go home, ate the gummies. I think I just had one, 
maybe two, I don't know. Um, and mind you, that day I had been already like cleaning up the house and you know, just been being busy. So for me, when we got the gummies, it was about like, okay, we're about to zen out. We're about to relax for the day, for the night and chill. You know what I'm saying? Got the gummy. The gummy took a while to kick in. Like I didn't expect it to kick in how it kicked in. All I remember is I was sitting on the edge of the bed and I was watching TV and I just felt, I just had this sensation like I was finna like fall to the floor and like pass out or something and I felt real weird. And I was like, this is not, I was like, I don't feel, I don't feel good. I was like, uh-oh, what's finna happen? Like I immediately went in panic mode and I like remember calling my husband. Like I said, I can laugh at it now, but at the time, y'all, I was, uh, I literally thought I was about to die. And let me tell you why. If you follow my story and like my journey with my mom, losing my mom and stuff, you know, if you read my book especially, um, I lost my mom, now what? Memoir of a motherless daughter. In the book, I talked about, you know, the fact that I was with my mom from the beginning of her, her journey with breast cancer, like the very first time she had breast cancer to her second battle and to her last minutes. And so, in my mom's last minutes, I remember everything. I remember how she looked. I remember certain things she said. I remember how she was feeling. Like, I, excuse my chair. That's my chair, not me. <laughs> how everything I observed in her last moments, that's how I felt in that time. Like, I felt like I was about to pass out, which ultimately my mom passed out in my arms when she passed. I kept feeling like I was gonna pass out and I kept calling for my husband, like, oh my God, I'm about to pass out. Like, I really, I kid y'all not, I felt like it was something that came to me that was like, this is how your mother felt in her last minutes. And when I tell y'all, I can't begin to tell you the thoughts I had at the moment. I just knew I was out of here. I was like, dang, I'm leaving my husband. I'm like, I'm like, man, I wouldn't even like, is this the way I'm going out? A gummy? Like for real, Lord, a gummy, a CBD gummy? Like I was mad, I was pissed. I was so pissed. Hubby was also filling his gummy, but in a better way. And so he's like, shoot. And I'm like, call 911, call 911. Like, I'm like, call, take me to the doctor. Take me, like, call 911. Because I thought I was about to pass out. And I was like, bro, I can't be dying. Not like this. Like, what am I going to tell? I was like, I'm finna get my husband in trouble. Like, y'all, it was so, so bad. And I just remember him, like, calming me down. And like, you sure you want to go to the doctor? Because one, the ER bill... I'm still paying on that ER bill, let's be clear. It was just one of those things like, okay, calm down, let's take deep breaths, let's, let's relax. And uh, I just couldn't, I would calm myself down and then I would start freaking out. It was as if, it was as if I was, felt like I was gonna pass out, but I wasn't. It felt like I was gonna throw up, but I didn't. It felt like I was hot, but I was cold. Like it was weird, y'all, it was so weird. And I don't know the milligrams at all, but, but hubby ended up taking me to the ER, um, and if I can, I think I have a clip in my phone. Um, literally, when I was in the emergency room, I'll post it if I can in this video. But he was pissed, y'all. He was hot at me. Me, I took one too, but I'm chill. Uh, somebody. But, you know, it's still not good because I couldn't calm her down. So I was like, hey, well, we're going. So here we go. This is what you do. This is what you do. Oops. And the whole way there, I was praying and I was like, please, Lord, if you just let me make it through this moment, I swear I'm gonna go hard, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I feel like up until that point, I had wasted time. I was just talking to God and I was just like, ooh. Also, something that's weird, and if y'all have ever had like a bad trip or a bad experience with like CBD or even regular weed, like, do y'all have an experience where like, I don't even know how to, if this is gonna make sense or if this is gonna sound like, crazy or whatever but it's like I could see inside my brain and my brain was like a jigsaw puzzle 
and there was depths of my brain that I was like, I've never been here. I've never used this part of my brain. Like, oh my God, like so much about life just, I don't know how to explain it properly, but it's like, I learned that there's more to me and more to my brain and my thoughts than I've been given credit for. And I don't know, it was a weird experience that kind of was impressive, but also like, girl, what the freak? And I think from that experience, I had to Google it. I got, it's it's called asthenophobia, which is the fear of like fainting or passing out. Cause that whole experience, I was like, I'm never doing CBD, never doing actual weed, I'm not doing no drugs. I always kind of wanted to try shrooms because of its healing, like the spiritualness of it. Don't want to do it. I'm sorry. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Like, I'm good on it. You know, I I have come to terms with the fact that I don't think I'm a person that can do those types of things. I went to the ER. Hubby was like, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Make sure you're right. I, of course, was in perfect health. Nothing was wrong. But nonetheless, after I got checked out of the hospital and they told me I was fine, Went home, slept like a baby. I still was kind of freaking out, but I felt better because I was like, oh, probably is just, <laughs> probably is just the CBD gummy. Um, and yeah, I woke up the next morning, we talked about it. And that is something that sticks with me. Like we even went to uh, California to last year sometime, shortly after that. And I remember telling my husband, cause it's illegal out there and I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing weed, I'm not doing, I darn near I'm not doing alcohol at this point. Like, I, I don't want to experience anything like that ever again. But that's, that's it, short and sweet, y'all. The reason why I would never do CBD, and I'm so serious, y'all. On one hand, I laugh because I'm like, ah ha ha, that was funny. It's like, girl, you've never had, just had a bad trip. Like, it was clearly just a bad trip, you were fine. But on the other hand, I feel a way because I think that I was able to tap into my mom's last minutes and I wish I could better explain that. But it freaked me out and I was like, I, I, yeah, I'm yeah, i good on I'm good on all that stuff. So like I said, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I'm not gonna keep y'all too long. Y'all go out, have fun, party it up, live it up, or rest, whatever you gotta do this Friday night or this weekend. I love y'all. Thanks for tuning into my story time. See y'all next Friday.